Hello, this is Mike Wade, Chief Options Strategist with Tom Gentile, and welcome to this video featuring Tom's tools and yours truly. Stock and options trading has large potential rewards, but also large potential risks. You must be aware of these risks and be willing to accept them in order to invest in the stock and options market. Don't trade money you cannot afford to lose. I'm not offering any buy or sell recommendations on anything whatsoever. Everything is for educational purposes only. Please don't construe anything I'm about to share with you as advice. All prices are in U.S. dollars unless noted otherwise, and feel free to read the balance of the disclaimer at your leisure. So in my last video, I talked about how to roll calendar spreads into more profits. Calendar spreads do lend themselves to adjustments, but there's other types of adjustments, and here's one I want to talk to you about in this video, and that's how to butterfly yourself into guaranteed profits and go get some more. So what I'm saying is we can use butterflies to lock in profit, eliminate risk, and allow you to go for more profits. So in this video, I'm going to talk to you about how to adjust winning trades into guaranteed profits by editing trades in Tom's tools. Trading can become like a chess match, and I'm going to show you some ways to do that. I'm going to talk about bullish adjustment strategies, different things you can do to lock in profit, reduce risk, certainly, and give yourself a chance to get some more profit. And then I want to cover butterflies as an adjustment technique and then when to time your adjustments. Let's go right into an example. All right, now here's a call option on Goldman Sachs. I had a bullish prognosis on Goldman Sachs. I entered this one on January the 7th, 2020, and bought a simple single 240 call. And then just two days later, let me just show you what the stock did. The stock just took off. And two days later, I was sitting at 143% profit. The day before, I was about an 80% profit. But certainly, here's a good time to do something. Now, my prognosis on Goldman Sachs was that it was going to rise six days into the earnings announcement. But I got my double, well over my double in a couple of days. So obviously, you don't want to leave a double on the table. You got to lock it in somehow, do something with eliminating risk. And I wanted to give myself a chance to make more money because my prognosis was still bullish and I wanted six more days in the trade. So here's what we want to do. We want to be able to reduce our risk. So our risk in this trade was $240. We want to reduce that risk lock in some profit preferably and give ourselves a chance to make more money in the event that I am right about my bullish prognosis on Goldman Sachs. So here's an idea. Here's something you can do. Now we've got eight days left in the trade. The earnings is in six days. I want to be out in six days, but I want to lock in some profit. Here's an idea. Check this out. I'm going to hit the edit button in the trade. And then what I want to do, I'm long the 240 call. What I could do is sell the 250 call and that would bring in some cash. And here's how we do that. So let's go ahead and do it. I'm going to go ahead and sell one of the Jan 17 250 call. And then I hit my, my risk graph button right there. And this is the risk graph, the resulting risk graph. Now notice, I'm going to compare and contrast the long call to the what is now a bull call spread or a long call spread. We bought the 240 on January the 7th and then on January the 9th, just two days later, we sold the 250 call for $1.68, netting a maximum risk of 72 cents on the trade. Remember the original trade had a risk of $240. This adjusted trade, this bull call spread now, only has $72 of risk. And I can still make more money on this trade. I've got $343 of profit and I can make another $600 or so in profit. And then you can see this beautiful risk graph here. Again, I'm expecting the stock to run up. If that happens, there's more profit above here. I've, re I've reduced my risk to that. 70 some dollars there. The risk is almost nothing. That's a beautiful adjustment. Gives me a chance to go for more while virtually eliminating my risk. Now here's another idea. Before I show you the adjustment, I want to talk to you about what a butterfly is. So remember, we own the 240 call. To turn this into a butterfly, what you do is you sell two higher strike calls and then you buy a further higher strike call and that creates a 121. We're long one 240 call, we're short two 250 calls, and we're long one 160 call. That is a butterfly. The risk graph looks just like that. So our profit zone is designated between these blue lines here, the light blue line and then the, the dark blue line, which is overwritten on the light blue line. But there's your profit. So as long as the stock continues up, 
into this range here, that would be a, a profitable trade. So now let's take this winning long call and convert it into a butterfly. Remember, we, we're long the 240 call, so I'm gonna edit the trade and I wanna convert this into a butterfly. Now we're gonna use the same expiration date as the long calls that I currently have. So let's go ahead and change the expiration dates to Jan 17. Now remember, I'm long the 240 call, so I wanna sell two of the 250 calls and then I wanna buy one of the 260 calls above, all right? So remember, I have, I'll just type this in to make it clear. We already own the 240 call. Now that we're gonna take that profitable 240 call, convert it to a butterfly by selling two Jan 17 250 calls and buying one Jan 17 260 calls. You click the risk graph button here to add those legs to the trade. This is the new adjusted trade. You can see here, that there's our butterfly. We own the 240 call. We've sold two of the 250 calls and we own one of the 260 calls. There's a balanced butterfly. Notice that there is no risk in the trade. There's a minimum profit of $55 in that trade and you, now you can see our butterfly. If the stock does in fact continue to move up, I've got more profit up here in this profit zone here. So notice here, the risk graph is all the way into profit. There is no part of this risk graph that extends into the loss area on the risk graph right there. Now let's see what, how this trade actually performs. So, so as I'm recording this today on the 17th, it's expiration day. This is how the trade ended up. And funny enough, the stock stopped right at 250. That's not that funny because that's normal. 250 is resistance. That's a good place to sell strikes for credit spreads and butterflies. So that's what we ended up doing. It worked out great. Had I just bought the long call itself, let's take a look. That long call itself would have made only $745. So the long call made 745. The adjusted butterfly with no risk, only guaranteed profit after two days actually made even more money, $983 worth of profit. So the next question you should be asking yourself is when do I make these adjustments? So let's talk about that. It's, there are no absolute rules of thumb, but here's three good times to do adjustments. Obviously, as I just demonstrated, if you've doubled your money or more, then consider adjusting into either a bull call spread or a butterfly if you're directional. Other technicals like moving averages and other indicators are also good triggers for adjustments. And lastly, earnings. You know, if It's never really a good idea to hold over an earnings announcement if you're directional. But if you feel inclined and you want to protect yourself over an earnings announcement, then this type of an adjustment makes a lot of sense. Now, of course, only adjust when you expect the stock to move in your direction or continue moving in your direction. Otherwise, if you think it's going to stop and not keep going, then that's always a good time to adjust. But really, adjustments is all about locking in profit, reducing risk, eliminating risk even. And those are primarily the times when you want to do it. As review, how do, a, how do you adjust a winning call to a butterfly? Here's what you do, you edit the trade. That's gonna pull up the new leg screen. You wanna sell two higher strike calls. In this case, we sold the two of the 250 calls, and then you wanna buy a higher strike still. In this case, we bought one 260 call, and again, we own the 240 call. Once you've added those legs, then you click the update button, and then the risk graph button, and that will pull up the resulting risk graph. All right, there's my second video on adjustments. Adjusting is really a cool thing to do in trading. Trading options in particular, trading becomes very much like a chess match. It's a lot of fun. It's, it's really prudent, of course, to reduce and even eliminate risk and lock in profit anytime that you can. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. Stay tuned for the next one, and I'll see you next time.